Good morning, I'm Bruce E. Rivers. You're watching Los Banos Today. Los Banos Today is brought to you by Santos Ford, the Central Valley's king of trucks. Call them today at 209-826-4921. Let me say that again, 209-826-4921. You can find them located at 617 West Pacheco Boulevard. Don't forget that name, Santos Ford, the Valley's king of trucks. Hello and welcome to another episode of Lost Banis Today. I'm your host, Josh Chanyan, and with me today is Noah Jones from PAL. Noah, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. How about everybody else out there? Thanks. Well, all right. So, um, Noah, what is PAL? So, PAL is a Police Activities League. Uh, it's been in Los Banos for, um, since 1989, so 20 plus years. Um, it's a nonprofit organization affiliated with the police department. Um, and it's basically crime prevention programs, keeping kids busy. That, that's what we're trying to do. The, the philosophy is uh, if we have things for kids to do, then uh, they're not out doing things that the police department doesn't want kids to do. So um, we try and keep them as busy as we can and, and make a positive uh, environment for them to uh, participate in different activities. So that's what PAL is. Sweet. Well, awesome. And uh, so that, that obviously covers how it started, right? Because you got, you got all these kids that have nothing to do. They're getting into trouble, a little mischief here and there. And uh, I, I, like, I like the fact that, that they saw something that was wrong and they, they said, how can we make this fun and easier and get these kids out of trouble and get them into something healthy and fun to do. Right, exactly. And I think the interesting thing or, or the cool thing about it to me is that the city and the police department have been committed to the program for such a long time. I mean, we've been here since 1989 and a full time police officer, which I'm a full time police officer, um, is been dedicated to the program since I believe like 1993 or 1994. Um, so, I mean, that that's huge um, and, and it just shows what the police department and what the city um, they they just value that uh, that a full-time officer is there trying to prevent these problems from happening so in in we're succeeding I mean we've had you know 20 plus thousand kids come through the program I know you've been through the program before junior Giants player back in the day oh, yeah. and um, it, it's just a great just a great program. I'm a believer in the program. I mean, I just think that it's super important to, I think each community should have a PAL program, um, especially with police times the way they are these days. Not a whole lot of, poli not a whole lot of positive things coming yeah. out of police departments. No. Um, and this is a huge positive thing for our community. So um, I love the PAL program. It's, a, it's just a great program. I'm honored to be, you know, the guy that's in charge of it. So. And and how did you become the guy in charge of it? Was there like, did you guys like all throw your names in a hat and there was a raffle or, or was it just, uh, was it something that you said, you know, this really speaks to me and I, I'm, st I want to step up and do this. Yeah. So basically, I mean, um, officer Greg Wilson is the one that started the program. He was, I'm sure with you. So, Absolutely. um, he started the program. Um, when he retired from the city of Los Banos, he went up and worked for state pal, which is in San Leandro. Um, he worked there. He just recently retired there. Uh, I think it's been two years now. Um, so when he left... Just real quick, I want to say, shout out Officer Wilson. Hey. <laughs> okay, keep going. Sorry. When he left... That's okay. Uh, when he left, um, he suggested, recommended that I, you know, apply and, and take over the PAL, PAL position. So um, the rest is basically history from there. Um, so, yeah, I'm thankful that... Patrol for me was was challenging, and um, I'm definitely glad that this uh, this spot came open for me. And I've been doing it full time for 18 years, so um, it's been perfect for me. Um, I I love just being around the kids and the volunteers in the community. There's tons of people uh, from the community, obviously, that volunteer for the program because. I'm the only paid person that's uh, in the PAL program. I have a volunteer secretary, Rosemary Santos, who's uh, been volunteering for 20, 20 plus years in the PAL program. She worked for the city for 30 plus years, and when she retired, looking for something else to do. So 
Um, Officer Wilson recruited her into being a, a volunteer for, for PAL, and she's been there for 20 plus, 20, over 20 years now. So, um, so it's me and her, and then all the volunteer coaches and team parents mm -hmm. and dugout moms and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, lots of kids coming through the program, but lots of adults coming through the program also. Um, which, I, again, I think you know, speaks highly of the program because right. so many people want to be involved and, uh, and, and help us out. So. Sweet. Yeah, any, any way possible. Shout out to all you parents out there, though, that are, that are willing to take time to, to volunteer and, and help this guy out who's, who's, and help out our community, right? I mean, that's... That's, uh, that's basically... So, uh, you, what do you guys got going on right now? So, we just finished, I don't know if I need it. I know, you know, I'm, I'm thinking the same, I'm yeah. just going to hold it like this. That's both of us, we, we, we project, talk pretty loud. we project. Uh, Let's not say talk loud, that's a negative connotation. Okay. <laughs> we'll just say we project well. So, we just finished our girls softball program. We had uh, 24 teams this year. Um, uh, so, we just finished that. Um, kind of a goofy season, a little uh, bunch of rainouts this year. The weather's, and are we doing spring or not? Yeah, it's one extreme or the other. It seems like it's mm -hmm. either 85 or it's 50. Somebody the so. other day uh, sent me something that said, uh, you all think it's April 15th, but it's actually the 105th of January. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Must be somebody from Michigan. That's where... Uh, exactly. I have, yeah, I have family members in, in Michigan. They're just shoveling out just a snowstorm. Just getting storms. snowed in. and Oh, yeah. man, big time snow. So, But anyways. Um, Pal just out. finished. Pal just finished girls softball, thank you. And um, so 24 teams, and we just finished that last Thursday, and now we're ramping up for Junior Giants baseball. So Junior Giants summertime program, and um, uh, free through the, through, the, through the Giants Community Fund. Um, so Junior Giants is probably my favorite program, um, just because uh, the Giants are huge, huge uh, supporters of not only Los Banos uh, Junior Giants, but I think there's 110 different leagues throughout the state of California, wow. Oregon, and Nevada. Oh, wow. So um, we're not just in one spot. No. I They're mean, the majority of them are in California, but there's a couple in Oregon and a couple in Nevada, right. too. Um, Go Giants. So, yeah, they're just... Honestly, before before I started the PAL program, wasn't really a big baseball guy at all. Never played little league baseball when I was a kid. Played adult slow pitch softball. That's that's really it. But turn the Junior Giants program turned me into a Giants fan right. because just uh, I think last year I kept track because people asked me how many boxes of stuff that they send us. Right. And it was like 123 uh, UPS boxes of equipment and folders and notebooks and bobbleheads and all kinds of stuff that they that they send us every single year so just it, it's amazing how a professional sports yeah. uh franchise is just so dedicated to the community and to so many different communities so you know i didn't great. i didn't think that like more knowledge about the giants would make me like them even more but totally yeah totally yeah, it's amazing. I mean, I've never seen any other professional sports organization that's done, you know, as much for these communities that they do. And and that's one 123 for Los Banos. Right. And there's a hundred. And that's just so, yeah. And that's just for for us. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Okay, so let's say I want to volunteer and I want to be a coach for Junior Giants. How do I go about doing that? So now Junior Giants is all done online, of course. Um, so it's online registration for players and for coaches. Uh, team parents um, so you just have to go and we have the the direct link on our Facebook page or if you don't do if they don't do Facebook they can just go to lostbanospal.org and um, it'll bring them to our Facebook page and then they can just scroll down and they'll see the link it's at the top of our uh, posting there and then they can click on that link and then just follow it create an account and, and the Facebook page is Los Banos, Los Banos Pal. Pal yeah yep okay. Los Banos Pal cool cool um, so it's for ages 5 through 13 years old it's co-ed boys and girls um, the activity is free so there's no charge and we play for eight weeks in the summertime our first week starts uh, June 11th and then we end like the first week of August 
Sweet. So it's it's basically all all summer long for for the kids. That's so cool. Yeah, that's cool. just so cool. The only bad thing about Junior Giants is it's hot. It's always hot though. But it's hot. That's where we live. It's so that's that's, that's what I say. There's, that's the issue. Yeah, the issue. What we're gonna do instead? Uh, in years past, we've started our games at five thirty. We're gonna start them at six thirty this year. A little cooler. A little bit. Maybe that extra hour will help us. Um, so so we're gonna try that and see how that goes. That's a but great idea. Still a great pro. You know, still, yeah. it's still a fun. And program. you got lights, so yeah. So yeah, that'll, so that'll really help. Cool. Um, so you do you do uh, junior giants? You do pal softball? You guys do anything else? So the fall activity that we do is flag football. Um, it is for, it's co-ed also for ages eight through 13. Um, and the charge for that is $25. Um, and we, they play games two days a week there. So we have about 150 to 175 kids that play that in the fall. Um, and then the other two programs that we do, uh, another one that we're ramping up for now is a sober graduation. We're in charge of the sober graduation here in town. Um, so we do that with the highway patrol. Cool. Um, they help us out. Probation helps us out. Um, sheriff's department helps helps us out a little bit. Um, so that's af uh, obviously an after school, right? Or, uh, after graduation party for uh, seniors from Los Banos High School, San Luis High School, Pacheco High School. Um, they're all invited to to um, to sober grad. To hang out and. Have some have some cookies and punch and party it up. Yep. Last year we did it at Aqua Entertainment Center. Um, honestly, it was probably the best sober grad that I've been been <laughs> to in uh, the 18 years that I've been around. Uh, just nice because there was lots of entertainment for the kids to do bowl, video games, laser tag, laser which tag. I still haven't done. I gotta go. I gotta yeah. go do that. Yeah. So that, so we're gonna do it again there this year. Um, and. So yeah, we're, we're getting ready for that. Um, obviously that's all done by donations here uh, in town. Businesses, people that want to donate uh, to, to help with sober grads. Yeah, I was gonna ask, how do, you, how, do you guys, how do you guys fund PAL? If so, you're the only paid person, you know what I mean? So PAL basically is all done by the people that participate. So for example, uh, softball is $30. So that $30, um, the kid, the, their daughter gets to play softball, they get a t-shirt, they get a medal, and they get to play the games. Um, we pay our umpires th with that $30. Um, everything. Chalking the fields, we're doing, yeah, mowing, we're, equipment. We're doing all that stuff uh, for $30 a player. Um, so there's no like budget, there's no right. budget through the city. Um, it's all basically done by donations and the people that participate. Um, so I think that's kind of another unique thing that, uh, about PAL. Heck yeah. Um, so, you know, for the price of, for the price of three movies, right? <laughs> for the price of three movies, you go out and you, you play something for six to eight weeks, 10 weeks. Right. And you go out and you're having fun. You're making connections. You're meeting new friends. Right. Dude, PAL is, PAL is the ish. That's what it is right there. <laughs> All right. So what's something that, um, the police activities league struggles with? that maybe we could all kind of come together and try and help fix? Um, is, there, is there a lot or is it? No. I mean, I, I don't want to say there's nothing, you know, because, <laughs> no, it's you know, of course. It. Yeah. In every single way. I mean, every, I mean, I think every organization out there will say that they have, you know, things that they struggle with a little bit. I, I would say, you know, donations, obviously, that, that money is always a factor because we try and keep the, the cost as low as we, as we possibly can. Right. Um, I, I see a little trend of, of having some issues with volunteers and just um, volunteer numbers being down a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, that's always a challenge because people are, I, I think what happens is people get nervous about coaching a baseball team. They don't feel like they have all of the baseball knowledge that they need to coach a team. They feel like they're coaching, you know, little league or high school baseball, and they're really not. They really no. just need to be somebody who's willing to like an organizer um somebody who's you know can 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 hold some details together mm -hmm. that's really all it is i'm pretty um, sure my mom and and vita's mom were our coaches one year and which by the way the best year i've ever had coached in my entire life just so you know but uh it it's all about somebody who's going to be out there who's watching the kids Making sure, hey, what, what do you want to do? You've played pitcher too many times. Let this person go play. We're having fun. Go out there and have fun. Right. Leave us alone. Go right. out. 
Exactly. Go do your thing. Yeah, exactly. So versus trying to put too much pressure line on up, yourself. Line up cards and keeping book and you know doing all of that kind of stuff. You know. Right. Um, so yeah, ju- I mean, Junior Giants. That that part of it is it's it's really easy. You just have to be you know kind of organized and a little organized and present. Yeah. Exactly. Little show or- up on show up on time. If game starts at five thirty, be nice to be there at five ten. At least. You know. Yeah. At least. At least. At least. Because you want to be able to play catch, make sure you warm got all of your bit. stuff, warm exactly. up, so nobody's getting hurt. Yeah. Right. All right. So now that we've talked about something that, that we can help fix, what is what is your absolute most favorite thing about PAL? Just, I mean, the number one overall deal. Um, <clears throat> I think people will guess what my number one deal is. Uh, and. And I think people would guess that it was the field makeover uh, that we won. You know, five, it's been five years, five years ago that we won. the. It field has makeover. been a while. Yeah. But my favorite thing is just seeing kids uh, that don't normally get to participate in activities, participate in activities. I mean, is, and especially Junior Giants because it's free. There's kids out there that when we finish in August, they're looking forward to playing Junior Giants again next June. And uh, that's the only opportunity that they have to play. Um, and there's, there's lots of kids that are like that here in, in Los Banos mm-hmm. that, that that's what they play. They play Junior Giants um, and because it's free. So um, I would say that's, that's right up there. Obviously working with the volunteers. I have some great volunteers that work with the PAL program and they have been around for many years. Um, they're, they're just totally supportive. Um, help me out no matter what I, I could call you know 25 people right now if we needed to do whatever and they, they would come down and help so um, so that part of it is, is great too I think the other part of the PAL program that I like is I like being an officer and representing the police department in a positive way yes I love that that's a great um, thing especially like you were saying nowadays man yeah uh, not not a whole lot of uh, you know, every, everybody remembers the one bad thing. Right. They're not looking at the big picture of there is good. Yeah. And, you know, and I, at Los Manis today, that's exactly what we're trying to do. We're trying, we're trying to promote the good. Yeah. You're only making news nowadays when bad stuff happens, and I, I don't want to hear that. Right. I don't want to hear that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so that, I mean, I, I love that part of it, too. Just, you know, representing the police department is, is great, so... Um. Sweet. Yeah. That's a cool deal, man. All right. Well, um, do you have a website for PAL specifically? LosBanosPAL.org. Um, it, 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 it's going to direct you to our Facebook page, but I know that some people don't, ju- don't do Facebook, but you can still just scroll down and you can look at all the postings that we do and all the activities that we have. Um, so you, you can still look at it. You don't have to log in and, right. and you know, right. uh, be a member to, to look at it you know, what's on there. And then those of you that do have Facebook, it's search, just go and search Las Vegas Pal. Should pop right up. Yep. Awesome. Yep, that's it. Well, Noah, thank you so much. Thank you. I had, th- uh, this is fun. I was so excited for this interview. <laughs> and, uh, oh, and by the way, Sharks playing today. Let's uh, try and win and get to round two of the playoffs, huh? I, I thought you'd like this, but uh, I got my, got my Jones jersey oh, on. <laughs> got my Jones jersey on. Well, hey, thanks again for coming. No problem. And, uh, Another episode down, huh? So uh, remember, if you want to see more content, go to lostbanistoday.com and uh, tune in for more episodes. I'm Josh Chanyon, and uh, I'll see you later.